Hey guys, now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new product from BenQ. Uh, this is a 13-in-1 USB-C hybrid dock that is going to allow you not only to connect your laptop, your desktop, your work computer, but it's also going to allow you to connect a second device. It could be an Xbox, it could be a PlayStation, or it could be a personal laptop as well. All in this small little package. This has tons of connectivity, has the ability to support up to three monitors, all of them 4K, all of them running 60 hertz. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, this solution is a really powerful solution for those of you who are looking to connect more than one device uh, to a monitor. Uh, now, it's not a KVM switch, meaning that you cannot share a keyboard between two devices. But if, for example, you want to be able to have multiple monitors that are running your work, and then you would want to be able to have your Xbox, your PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, even your Stream Deck, connected to this, then you'd be able to do this and then switch over to it and have a fantastic viewing experience because of the 4K output that you get out of this. Or like in my case, I have my uh, Mac, uh, I have my Mac uh, Ultra uh, connected to this, right? And then what I'd have is my MacBook Pro and I have them and I could just by simply pushing this button, I can switch between devices and still, you know, still use a lot of the same peripherals. But keep in mind, this is not a KVM switch. So let's talk about some of the specs and some of the reasons why you're going to like this. Because in the back here, you can see tons of connectivity as well. Now, before taking a closer look at the device itself, let's take a look at some of the options that you have here. Uh, you'll notice that in the front, you're going to have a 3.5 audio jack. You have USB-C. And again, this is going to be high powered um, and it's going to charge your devices at the front fast as possible rate you can. Uh, you can see that you have two USB-A ports here, and on the back, you also see an additional two USB-A ports with gigabit out. You'll have USB-A again over here. Uh, this one on this side right here is gonna be more of like for your mouse and your keyboard, just so that you can do that, but you're gonna have stuff connected in the front as well. You have a display port, HDMI, another HDMI, and you can see that you also have USB-C, you have DC in, and then you have uh, HDMI out. Now, let's take a look at the dock itself. We'll put the box over to the side so you can see everything that's going on here. So really, really nice. I like how clean this implementation is. And by the way, if you're using a new MacBook Pro uh, and you're, uh, you're looking to be able to have multiple devices or multiple monitors, you can as long as you have the right DisplayPort drivers. Really important. And it's going to tell you right here to make sure that you install the DisplayPort drivers or DisplayLink drivers so that you can actually get uh, that multiple monitor support, especially on the brand new Macs. So here you can see how clean this implementation is. So again, here are the two USB-A that we talked about, your USB-C, your headphone jack, and then this is kind of like the button that you'll press to be able to switch uh, from devices, uh, especially if you have two, like in my setup, I have, my, again, my MacBook and then my desktop that I have connected to it. We'll flip to the back, and you can see how everything is nicely, cleanly, optimized or implemented as well. So you have your two USB uh, A ports and you can see that this is for keyboard and mouse. Your again, ethernet, another USB A, your display port, your HDMI. You then also have your HDMI out here. You have an N, you have HD, uh, actually USB C, and then you have your power. So really small package solution. We're gonna grab the box that we have here that this came in. And we're gonna look at some of the other things that you have inside. So you have a lot of cabling as well that is included, right? So first of all, right here, you have an HDMI 2.1 AK certified cable. Gotta love that. Here you have a USB-C 3.2 gen 2.2, 20 gigabits with 100 watt 4K. So this is also gonna support that. I'm gonna move this over to the side. You have your power cord, all right? That's gonna be an extension. And you have a relatively Decent brick. The brick right here is pretty big. As again, you're you you're going to su supply a lot of power to this. So you can see here's your brick itself, right? And obviously this cord goes in here, and then this guy that you have here is going to get connected to the back right here to uh, keep everything going. So let's go ahead and connect this to see how it works. All right, guys. So here we have the actual hub connected and. I also have two machines connected. So this is my my Mac that you see here. And then I have my MacBook Pro that I have over here. 
So what we're going to be doing is we're going to see how it can switch back and forth. And this is the, again, the utility or the power of this docking station. Now, keep in mind that you could have this connected to an Xbox, a PlayStation, um, any other device. Uh, I have it connected to two different machines, a MacBook Pro and then my uh, Studio Mac. And I could have also additional screens as well as connected to this. But in my use case, what I like is being able to switch back and forth, especially when I'm here in the studio. So let me show you. All I have to do is press this button right here. And now you'll notice that the screen changed. It's going to take a couple seconds, and you can see how fast that is. Now what you see right here is my Mac. So here we have my laptop or my MacBook Pro. And then you have over here the actual screen. I'm going to move the pointer around so you can see the pointer on screen. So this is coming from my MacBook Pro. And if I were to push this again, it's going to switch back. And now I'm going to be working off of my studio. Uh, really, really fast. Gives me a lot of flexibility when it comes to connecting things. And more importantly, what I really like, well, equally important, is the fact that my MacBook Pro is being charged at the same time. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.